There was a man named Brian. He was the only son of his mother and he loved her very much. Brian worked hard and did well in college, which made him really happy. One day, his mother called him over and sat him down. She said, Brian, now that you've graduated, I want to tell you something important that your father said before he passed away. Brian listened intently, eager to hear what his mother had to say. She continued. Before your father died, he left some money for your education and told me to make sure you finish college, get a good job, and get married. He wanted our family name to continue and not be forgotten. Brian promised his mother that he would work hard to make his father proud and fulfill his wishes. He found a good job in a big company and worked diligently. There, he met a beautiful young lady who became his assistant. They fell in love and got married. Both Brian and his new bride were happy, and his mother was also thrilled because it seemed like their family name would carry on. However, as years went by, Brian and his wife couldn't have children. They became worried and sad because people started talking about it. Even Brian's mother and friends started suggesting that he find another wife who could give him children. His wife, feeling pressured, told Brian the same thing. But Brian believed in God and knew that anything was possible with him. He stayed strong in his faith and didn't give up hope, despite all the pressure and advice from others. He knew that one day, God would answer their prayers. And then, after twenty long years, a miracle happened. Brian's wife became pregnant. They went to the doctor, who confirmed that she was carrying not just one, but three babies, two boys and a girl. Brian, his wife, and his mother couldn't contain their joy. Finally, after all those years, Brian's father's wish was coming true. Brian's unwavering belief in God and his power to change any situation gave him the courage to wait patiently. He knew that God's timing was perfect. And now, with the arrival of their three precious children, their family felt complete and blessed. We should never lose hope in God. Just like Brian, if we believe in God and trust in his plans for us, miracles can happen, and our dreams can come true. Our God is an unchangeable changer. And the confidence we have in Him is that whenever we pray, He hears us and answers us. And there is no basket case with Him. He never comes late in any situation. He can turn any situation around. He makes everything good in His time. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11 says, He has made everything beautiful in His time. Therefore, I prophesy to you child of God, that it's your own time for transformation and turnarounds. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is your time to laugh, rejoice, joy and rejoice. The Lord has remembered you for good. The era of mourning is over for you. It is a new dawn for you. For he says in Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh, is there anything too hard for me? And that includes your current unwanted situation. And the answer is obviously no. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, too hard for God. All that you have got to do is believe and trust in Him, and He will bring it to pass. Do not be burdened or border yourself about how He is going to do it, for there is no impossibility with God. Do not estimate God based on your own human limitations, for He is God. He says in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 9, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. And again, in Isaiah 43, from verses 18 to 20, He says, Do not remember the past events, pay no attention to things of old. Look, I am about to do something new, even now it is coming. Do you not see it? Indeed, I will make a way in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. Verses 20. 
Wild animals, jackals and ostriches, will honor me, because I provide water in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert, to give drink to my chosen people. So God is about to do something new concerning that situation that weakens and demoralizes you. He is making all things new, changing and transforming the situations of those who believe in Him. And you are among those whose every undesirable situation in their lives shall be changed, and they shall be transformed for the better today. In the name of Jesus Christ. So forget the former things, your Rescuer, the Lord God of the Host, is here to help you, recover you, rescue you, deliver you, and decorate you as we pray now. We are in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, merciful, gracious and everlasting Father. Lord I come to you this hour with these children of yours who desire positive changes and transformation in their careers, finances, businesses, academics, marriages, relationships, and for their children. Lord, you said in your word of Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Ask, and it shall be given you, seek, and ye shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Therefore dear Father Lord, according to your word, we ask for change in every challenging situation in the life of every listener here under my voice. In the name of Jesus Christ. Change every misfortune to fortune, in accordance with your word in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, which says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. Lord let every situation in the life of everyone under my voice be turned to their favor and for their good. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let the barren here be turned and made mother of many children, change the condition of the poor to become wealthy and rich, change the condition of the sick to become healthy and free of any diseases and afflictions. In the name of Jesus Christ. Change also Lord, the conditions of the weak, feeble, destitute, dull and dullards in the name of Jesus Christ. Change the condition of those that have been considered failures to super successes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, I pray for the singles, spinsters, and bachelors desiring life partners. Lord connect them to the bone of their bones and flesh of their flesh. In Jesus' name. And for the lonely, the depressed and the demoralized, Lord heal them and bring solutions to their innermost needs and desires. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do not allow what they hate, fear, and do not want or desire to come upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, if there be any devil behind the woes of anyone, with the power and authority you have vested in me to cast out devil, I cast out such forces. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, by the authority of your word of Job chapter 22, verse 28 that says, Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. I decree and declare null and void curse bringing delays, misfortune and slavery. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare you blessed, safe, secured and promoted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, dearest Heavenly Father, for your answer, for in the name of Jesus the Christ, we prayed. Amen. We're grateful to have you with us. Take a moment to let us know how the Lord has touched your life by sharing in the comments section below. If you could kindly share this video with your friends, we would truly appreciate it. We love you.